So in this video tutorial we're going to have a look at the iOS app. So how can you can create digital edition apps for iPad and iPhone? There are different video tutorials on the Android app and also the HTML5 web app version which also shows the iPad. So please do look at those as well. So in this instance what we're going to do is look at the iOS apps and how to create them. So this is something similar to what we're going to be creating so it will look on our iPad and the advantage of this it can be downloaded to the Enreader's iPad or iPhone so they can also be offline when they want to view the, uh, your content. So how do we do this? Well let's just jump into the 3D issue software here and we're going to assume that we've finished creating our publications so we've added our content added our interactivity and customizations in the de design section and we're ready to upload and create our apps. So we want to be in the output tab and what we want to do is we want to create the iPhone and iPad app version. So have this selected Then make sure you have the upload option selected um, and you would have your website details in here. Once we've done that we're just going to go ahead and build this So I'm going to upload our files in the normal way, so we'll just give that a second or so. So it's finished now, so in the normal way we could view online. So this is within our browser. Now this is showing us the flash version because it knows we're on a browser, but what happens when an iPad or iPhone viewer views this publication? Well, let's take a look. So this is what an iPad user would see. The iPhone very, very similar with the notification. So the publication has detected that this reader is on an iPad or iPhone. So it's asking them if they want to view this publication within the 3D issue app. So what happens is the end reader, if they say cancel, they can just view the HTML5 regular version via the browser here. If they select OK, it's going to direct them to the App Store. So let's hit OK. So directed directly to the 3D Issue app within the App Store and all ready for the end reader to download. So they're going to hit that free icon to start the download process. And once they've done so, the reader can then see that 3D Issue app already installed on their iPad. So you can see that on the bottom row of the icons there. So they're now ready to get the content into that app. So they simply visit that publication again. This time they're going to hit OK and it already knows that the app has already been installed. So when they click OK this time, the app opens and the publication there starts to download and you can see that demo publication starting to upload there. When finished that demo publication becomes blue so it allows the end reader to know that this magazine is now downloaded within the app and ready to view so if they go ahead and tap that word demo or whatever you called your digital edition launches the publication and then they can just page flip through the publication, see all the interactivity and generally consume that magazine whenever they want to. So this works offline, online, whether they're Wi-Fi, 3G or offline, it really doesn't matter. This magazine is now situated on their iPad so they can consume whenever they like. Now if they hit the library icon at the top left there, they can go back to the menu structure of this app and you can see down here on the left these are the other sections of your publication that you might have downloaded so this is just show, showing you how you can have different publications stored in the archive under different sections so you might have a section for newsletters brochures or different monthly publications now you can edit those archive file which is the library file in the software by just opening the software up you can then go to edit and edit remote publication library and you can then add in the publications that you want to be called for in that library and also change the headings as well. So that 
is how to create your iPad and iPhone apps from your 3D issue software.